need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's awake I need loss with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space Since I got a question for you. What is a, a, you know, like a lot of our sisters say, we, we queens and we princesses. What do princesses wear? What type of attire do princesses wear? Say again? Like, you know, our, our sisters like to say, oh, we queens, we princesses. You know what I'm saying? You know? That's what, they, that's what we say amongst each other, or the sisters say amongst each other. What kind of attire or clothing do our sisters, do queens wear? Then you ever seen a, uh, a, a princess in the frog? Yeah. What, what, what did she what, when, when, it, when it became a a, 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 a a spectacular night and she was going to the ball? What did she put on? A uh, what? Slippers. Slippers? <laughs> she put on a dress. A dress yeah, right. Okay. This is like even in like uh, the movie uh, Beauty and the Beast with his kids. Oh, okay. the dress. Yeah, okay. she put on a long, beautiful dress because okay. she's she was becoming royalty, royalty or she is royalty. Right. Right. So as as uh. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, or Israelites, we're God's royalty. You understand? So read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. So in repentance, this is, these are one of the laws that God says, uh, if you love me, keep my commandments. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So if you saw me out here in a woman's garment, what's a woman's garment? We just talked about it. You, if you saw me in a big, beautiful dress, because it's a royal day, what would you think about me? I think you were gay. You think I'm crazy? Right. Yeah, gay and crazy. Sodomite. Right. Right? Right. So, I would, be, I would also be considered a cross-dresser. Right. Right? So watch this. We're going to read it from the top again, because we, we've established that I should be wearing pants. Boys should be wearing pants. We should not be wearing dang, dang on our pants below our butts. Teach. Oh then Kanye and the media try to teaching our kids to wear dresses, right. kilts, and other all kind of other, all kind of other what, what merch and skirt. Right. Come on, man, foolishness. Kilt. They 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 kilt. They falling after the day white man. Right. That's their heritage. Yeah. They go up in other men's behinds. Right. Ooh. Read it again. Read that from the top. Watch this. So we understand. That. Since you understand, yeah. no, you're fine. That. I'm supposed to be in, a, in pants. All of our men should be in pants. Right. No cross dressing. So what about the woman? What should the woman be doing? Because we ain't going nowhere without you, sis. We came here as a people in slavery together because the Lord sent the white man against us. So the only way we're going to get out here is with our sisters when we correct together. Right. right. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says now the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. If I'm supposed to be wearing pants, are you supposed to be wearing pants? No. No. We, we, we get that from, once again, the white man. Okay, are you reading the Old Testament? Yeah, yeah, we read the Old Testament. Malachi 3.6. I thought we, I thought, uh-uh. I'm going to show you. We're not under the law anymore. We are under the law, sis. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Malachi 3 and 6. We are under the law, sis. Yeah, keep his commandments, right? That's right. Okay, but... We're not, under, we're not living under the law anymore because Jesus came and died on the cross. We're going to deal with that. We're not under the law no more. The sister said we are not under the law no more. The sister said we are not under the law no more because Jesus came. We're going to find out what Jesus came to do. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. Watch what the law says about the law. Read. For I am the Lord. I change not. He changed not. He told us to wear, uh, me to wear pants in the Old Testament. He came in the New Testament. He said what? I'm the Lord, I change not, young man. He's saying th same thing to you about, uh, same thing to you, sister. Read on. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So we wouldn't be consumed by the white man, by sin. Sin consumes us, it destroys our spirit. Right. You understand, sis? 
So the sister said, we're not under the law no more. We're not under the law no more. Romans 3.31. Read Romans 3.31. Sis, you know who wrote, wrote the book of Romans? Yeah, who, who, who what, uh, what man wrote the book of Romans? Paul, right? So we like, we, we, uh, we like to read the book of uh, Romans, Acts, Corinthians, right? Because Paul showed us the way. God chose Paul to wake us up in the last days, right? When, when, huh? He was Saul, right? And then he repented, like we was telling you on the sign, to Paul and kept God's laws. Right. You understand, sis? So he repented, kept his, kept the God's laws. He changed his name to Israel, right? And he started keeping God's laws. He's, so look what Paul said to the sister. says that was taught that God's laws are done away with, and that's why Christ came. Watch what Romans 3 says. Romans chapter 3, verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? Do we then make void the law through faith in Christ? Right? Read. God forbid. No, we do not make void the law. We do not destroy the law. Right. We do not put the, the law up on the hair and hide it. Right. No, what, what, what should we do with God's laws? What should we do with his laws? Read. Yay, we establish the law. We put our foot down as men. We put our foot down as women and say, you know what? Paul changed his name, kept the laws. Paul kept his name and kept, kept the law, changed his name and kept the laws. I'm going to do that. First right. Corinthians 11 and 1. Watch what Paul says. Watch what Paul says about keeping them laws. Bring it out. He learned. He said, man, watch what I'm about to do. And Paul says, do the same thing. Read. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 1. Be ye followers of me. So Paul says, you can go through, read my, uh, read my writings and my teachings to do what? Read on. Even as I also am of Christ. Am of Christ. Christ says we established the law. The law. We didn't break it or, or put it away. The law says I changed not. So, don't, so don't, don't think God's laws are done away with Matthew 5 and 17. Matthew 5 and 17. Watch this. Now we're going to go. We, we read in Paul about what Paul said. Now we're going to read about what, what uh, Christ himself said. The book of Matthew, right? A lot of red letters up in there, right, sis? Read. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I, I come to destroy the law. Read again. Think not that I come to destroy the law. So he said, think not that I've come to destroy the law of pants on our sisters. That's right. Think not that I've come to destroy the law of pants on our brothers or right. put on our brothers and sisters cross-dressing. Right. Read on. All the prophets, all the prophets, Isaiah, Malachi, Habakkuk, Ezekiel. Not the prophets, because that's the book of the prophets. Moses. Didn't we just read that? Deuteronomy 22, 5. And, and, the, and the prophet Moses. Read right. that again. Think not. Did I come to destroy the law? I didn't come to destroy what Moses, Moses taught you. Read. All the prophets. All the prophets. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Fulfill does not mean destroy. He said, I come to fulfill something that was prophesied of me. He was, he was sent into earth to do what? Die for our sins. Right. Because we, how do we uh, atone for our sins in the Old Testament? As, as, as we would call it. We would take an animal sacrifice, right? An animal sacrifice. Give me Hebrews 10 and verse 7. So let me show you what Christ said. I come to do this for you. Because a lot of our, see how every, a lot of our people are in sin. We, we lie, cheat, and steal each other. We lie, cheat, and steal. So when we, when we deal with the law, listen up, sis. We go over Christ in the New Testament so we can show our people. We show the sister that Christ did not do away with the law. And we must continue to keep the law. We show the sister that. Uh, pants were in the Old Testament. Christ said in Matthew 5 that we are, he's here to uh, not destroy the prophets. The prophet Moses gave us the law of pants. No cross-dressing. Women should be in dresses. Men should be in pants. Right. Right? Read what you got. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. I come in the volume of the book. Jump to verse 5. Yeah, read verse 5. Watch what Christ says. About because we used to abuse the law of sacrifice. We would bring Christ said, bring the first one of your flock, the best, the best of your flock. We said, nah, 
Man, this one looks good. Now let me let me hide this back here for myself. And this one's got a little dirt. I'm gonna give that to Christ. Right. That's insane. He created you, give your life, created us, give us our life, and we give him something that's not worthy what he asked for. He didn't ask for that. He said, give us the best, give himself the best. Read that, read on. Hebrews 10, verse 5. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, sacrifice and offering thou. What is not? So he said, when he came into the world, no more sacrifice and offering, because you profaning it. In the churches, you profaning it today. Read on. But a body hast thou prepared me. The Lord prepared Christ's body for us. He was the ultimate sacrifice. John 1 and 29. Hold that. John 1 and 29. Watch this. Hold fast. Listen close. This is your ticket to heaven. Today you can say, you know what? Man, I didn't know. Man, I didn't know yesterday, the day before. But you can't be justified in Christ today. Right. And begin keeping the commandments. Repent and keep the laws throughout the whole Bible. So that nobody can deceive you no more. Read on. John chapter 1 verse 29. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming on to him. John seeth Jesus. Man, you got to imagine that feeling when you see Jesus Christ coming up here looking like you. Right. Really hair when they told you it was white, stringy hair. A white man is going to come save you. A white man never saved no black man. Right. That's right. Read. And saith, behold, the Lamb of God. The what of God? The Lamb of God. Read. Which taketh away the sin of the world. He come to take away the sin of the Israelites. Right. The Israelites is the world in the Bible that he's talking about. Right. We run this planet in righteousness. That's why you must keep the commandments. Right. So when he comes back, he can restore Restore the decay a state of his people. Right. We are the chosen. Read. Right. The book of John, 1 verse 29. The next day John see of Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Right. This is he of whom I said, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me. That's talking about Jesus Christ. Jump back to Matthew 5, says. Two more scriptures says, I see you about to roll off. Hold fast real quick. Hold fast. Yep. He, uh, go back to Matthew 5, 17. So Christ said, a body has thou prepared with me. So Christ came and died on the cross for our sins. Does that mean we can continue in sin? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Read that all the way through. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. One jot and one tittle shall no wise and pass from the law. Acts 3.18. Acts 3.18 18 says, so we can clear up what it, what it, when it says he came to fulfill what he came to fulfill. Right? Because we just went over one, John 1 and 29. It says what? Prepare, prepare the lamb. Right. He, he became lamb uh, a, a representative of a lamb, that ultimate sacrifice. Right. So read this. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. 18. 18. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he had so fulfilled. So Christ had to suffer for us. He went before the Romans and got scourged, beard plucked, skin broken. Right. The same way we die on a tree in slavery, right. Christ died on a tree for our sins. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.